that's probably why I'm still here. That's probably why I came back to life, you know, where I can help as much people as I can, even though I don't know much about art. I didn't even know what the Mona Lisa was. But I go, I, I just love helping people, you know. I used to be a, a field engineer. I used to go all around the UK fixing hospital beds. And this one day in, at work, um, I was struggling with pins and needles and noisiness. My co-worker took me to the hospital. They described some seasick tablets for my nauseousness. So about half an hour later, to, uh, I started to have a seizure. I had a stroke. They also found out that I have stage 4 terminal cancer, tumours running all through my body. I also got a tumour in my, in my brain. That morning in the hospital, I had an urge to draw. It was it was very scary because and felt like uh like someone something jumped into me you know into my body and started drawing for me it felt like I was being possessed you know I could not leave that page till the drawing was actually finished and when the drawing was finished I could not go back onto the page because the drawing's finished when I actually done the 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 video and shared it to people they could see that it looked like. Someone definitely was guiding me with guiding my hands. People don't know much about the brain, you know, because of the wiring and everything. Else. Nurses, doctors, they were frightened the way I was drawing, you know, because I didn't know, you know, like I said, it felt like I was being possessed and it looked like I was being possessed, you know, the way I was drawing. And they were very scared, you know. It's like a, a short circuit, you know. My brain must have been rewired or something, and that's why these images are coming out. And I was in newspapers uh, in America, in Russia, and all over the world as well. Galleries would contact me when we want to display your work, and your work is so unusual, and your story is unusual, and famous people like Pat Boone. When an artist pass away, that's only when they become famous. Okay, I'm already became famous, you know, and I'm still alive. And one day I heard about NFTs, and I bought myself a digital uh, tablet, and I started drawing on there. And every single NFT I do is hand drawn, you know, trying to share it to the world, you know share my story to the world. Most of the images uh, that I've done is, is about my past and my future, you know. I used to, I used to surf, so there's a surfer alien. I used to, I used to have a bike, there's a biker alien, uh, a clock alien. I think that's to do with the time I passed away. I have like an art room where I, where I, I encourage people to draw, you know. I used to say to them, just go out there and, and draw some because anybody can achieve a lot in this world, you know. You don't have to be professional to achieve something, you know. You just have to to go and try and do it, you know. I always say, oh my gosh, this is such beautiful work. And what I also do for them is I I, I turn that, that image into an NFT for them, you know. And they will go out and, and, and will sell. They will actually um, mint the NFT and sell it, you know. And they'll come back and say, oh, thank you, Wayne. Oh, we just sold my NFT. And I said, don't thank me. Thank you, you know. Put, pat yourself on the back. Because you told me that you can't draw. And look at you. You just say, sold the NFT and that's your own drawing. With my neurological condition, I have seizures every single day, and it's the pain is, oh, I wouldn't give it to my worst enemy, you know, the pain I get. But I am super glad I got it, because look at the, look at the work I've produced, you know. It's unbelievable. You know, even if I pass away tomorrow, I'll pass away with a smile on my face, because, you know, people around the world in 20, 30, 40, whatever years, they will see my creations, you know, that, that I, and they will know Wayne Shepherd.